I'm a little, I'm, I'm not even lying. I'm going to watch it. Owen, do you get okay. That pool and Wolverine is the movie name. Okay, don't have any olive oil, so we're gonna have to use avocado oil. He has like a full-on eating disorder, bro. It's like, <laughs> bro, has the camera set up? Okay, ranch seasoning. That's optional, but you know it's pretty yummy. That pool's on the TVA right now. Chili powder. This is the first time a Marvel show was has been used in another Marvel movie. Salt free chicken seasoning. Season salt. So, we have already sprayed our oil on said chicken. Now we just need to add a heavy amount of seasoning. I need to add seasoning It's good for that. Season salt. <laughs> Could use a little bit more. All right. This is salt-free chicken seasoning. This is a little bit of chili powder. When I put it in the mouth, I put like 20 times that. <laughs> and it's, it has like no taste, so it's weird. I did like triple all that and no taste. Okay, a little bit of paprika, just a tad, not a lot, citrusy garlic. You didn't tell me this stuff. I was not told citrusy garlic or ranch seasoning. Oh yeah, touch it. Guys, you know what Spider-Man across spiders again? No Way Home. No Way Home is goaded. I mean, did you see the despicable me four trailer? D despicable? Despicable me four. I did not see. Oh, actually, yeah, I did see that. You have the baby now, bro. The rules like that. Everyone in here is a Spider-Man fan. Please confirm that. I'm a Mr. Beast costume. I'm a high end Anderson. Um, this still has no spawn to me. Can you hand me a paper towel? I think. I'm gonna take a picture of all those 
All right, this is what we have. Now I'm gonna move you over to the pan here. I just realized Brandon's been recording. Oh yeah, no, I need the video to, for next time. Andrew, I want to spill it, so I'm going to paste it. Okay. Now, medium-sized pan should be 12 inches in diameter. Do you have to? No, but we're cooking a lot of chicken. Fucking hell. I don't have to We're gonna put it on. That's like slightly above medium. That's a really expensive idea. Now the key to making any good food is a crap little bar. So we're waiting for this pan to heat up. Yeah. This one's good, a little salt. If you already have salt, I wouldn't have that. We're gonna do one, two, if you wanna know how hungry I am, three tablespoons of butter. Now it seems like a lot of butter, but and Butter. To be honest, it is a lot of butter, but yeah, yeah. it's going to taste good as shit. Show me. Yeah, show me. Three tablespoons, about this big. Three tablespoons. I'm going to put this here. We're just waiting for that to heat up. Brandon, let me put the pizza on it. Smells good. Uh, because it's frozen. Look at the bicep. Look at the bicep. That's a good one, actually. Yeah, that's what I got in my birthday. Actually, I did get this from today. <laughs> this is going to be good. Yeah, it is frustrating. It's a good one. Dude, I can't wait. I'm so excited. The just waiting for this butter to completely melt. And this is a lot of butter, that is correct. That's the key to any good food that you ever make. You need a shitload of butter. Kerry gold butter. Irish butter. Pure. Unpasteurized. So, as you're cooking, you're gonna see all of these milk fats start to liquefy, and you want that really start, like, subtly bubbly, like, look. And once that butter starts to get a little darker, you can hear it sizzling. And above, the milk fats are actually rising to the top of the pan. And that's what that white stuff is, right? And as that keeps going, this butter is going to start to turn a nice golden brown. Once, once it looks like this, right? You hear it bubbling, it smells good. You're gonna start to lay out your chicken. All right, 25 minutes.
Okay. Now you're laying all these pieces of chicken out, right? We still have all of this chicken left here, but you do not want, you want to make sure you're not crowding the pan, right? You don't want any of the chicken stacking because we want an even sear on each side, all right? Now, your first thought would probably be, chicken's getting a little dark and you flip it with a spatula. No, no spatulas around here. What you want is a utensil such as this that I have here so you can grab them and flip them. Much more efficient. Do we crack yours? What do we got? What do we got? How we do this? We just I seasoned a, a bunch and I put a bunch of butter in the layers here. So you see all the seasoning we got? This is a little stick we got. It's called open steak. You ever eat that from Tucson? No, it's a famous steak from Tucson. We bought a bunch of it. See that? See that? that uh, it's marbling. It's long. Now, once the heat is slightly above medium, we're going to crank it up to almost high. This is a, I'm making a tutorial yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, you want that crispiness. Did you feed these things? Yeah. You feed the chicken? Yeah. How I look at you. There's so many things cooking in this kitchen. We got a pizza, we got chicken. Now, you might be thinking, maybe I should flip this. You can always check, right? The bottom looks like this. That's not dark enough. We want it darker. Yeah, you gotta get that dark. That's gonna be a hard crisp. How about I try a piece just to make sure it's edible? What we got that we put the meat wrap in the Now, once the chicken starts to look like this, some brown bits on it, you're going to flip it. Let me see. Oh, it's perfect. Look at the thing that you get in there. Uh, Oh, my 
That sounds good, actually. <laughs> once, um, once this chicken is done, I might throw some of the tomatoes in the pan and let them like, cook out. Yeah. Because that's like full of flavor. Those are the lemons, yeah. As Guy Fieri would say, flavor town. Flavor town. Do you like chicken? Yeah, I like Huh? Do you like chicken? Uh, I like them in sandwiches. Do you like them all bagged up? Do you like the bagels like this? No, I do not. Dude, these things are like, they're closing to your mouth. Hey, yo. Yeah. Don't see them from water water. Just wait for it. Okay. Now we got some brown bits on the side. I just flipped them. We're going to grab a separate, separate plate. This is going to be our resting plate. This is the first round, this is where the chicken's going to rest. You can use anything. Yes, you can use your nails. I just walk it. Oh, that's amazing. I'm snagging a bite. It looks like... Uh -oh. I just came. Like, it's pretty good. Get away. Get away. It's almost really dropped that shit. Oh, it's like that chicken that you guys had. Yeah, yeah. That was good. Turn down the heat. Yep, I'm still in one braided. It's like salty. Water. Now we're going to lay out the rest of our chicken. <laughs> Yeah. Holy shit. Chicken. Hot and ready. I'm gonna put chicken on a butt as hot and butter here. Videos over.